Yo, what's up everybody? This video is gonna be a little bit different of what I do usually. It's gonna be me showing you what I do on Mirage. Nades, peaks and everything. So it's gonna be like my perspective how I play the game on Mirage. So let's go. Let's start up with the nades that I do. First one, window smoke. Uh, I mean uh, top mid smoke, the easiest one. Aim like shown. Just throw, left click. From your perspective it's gonna be like this. Nothing special, you all know that already. Next one, let's do window smoke. You just go in this corner, aim in the middle of this. You see this uh, wooden door, aim in the middle of it. You need to have jump throw bind to throw this. So you need to press the jump throw bind and D at the same time. So the smoke goes into window. I'm gonna show you there's no gap inside of it. No gap shown. Sometimes if you hear a molly, sometimes they just molly it from CT. They just throw a molly like this. Need to be a little bit deeper. So when the smoke lands, let's say like, like there, sometimes they have a gap like right side or left side to peek from. So next smoke is gonna be short smoke. Go in this corner. Uh, line up with this one. All the way down to here and jump throw as well. It's gonna land in the middle of shirt, leaves no gaps. Now towards A side. A smokes, default smokes, CT, jungle and stairs. Let's start with CT smoke. Aim like shown, jump through. no gap we jump on ticket there's also like a really small gap that you should be aware of next one jungle smoke go in the middle of this one like in the middle aim like shown a little bit to the left bottom throw this one then combine this with the stairs smoke go to this wall that's the easiest one throw let's see from their perspective there's no gap here, but there's always a gap here, so no matter what, you need to change stair smoke. That I don't know actually, I just use this one. Now in some situations, when you get stuck, like if you're going out A, eh? then you're stuck here. You, get, you want to smoke CT sometimes, that's a really uh, helpful smoke for me. I aim like shown, I just go in the corner, aim like shown, just left click throw. That's a good CT smoke. It's really helpful for me. It might have a gap or something, but from my position, no, it doesn't actually. It has a really tiny gap if someone is planting default, but it's helpful for me. You can also do a jungle smoke from here. It's not for a cross, so be careful. This one only for jungle. If you have a teammate is holding con or holding short, then this one is useful. There's also one more smoke that I do sometimes. Just stuck in this corner. I'm like shown. Left click throw. Let's see if you're playing from your perspective. This one's gonna smoke the cross for you. You can just cross to default safety, but it has gaps. One gap is right here. You can also peek from this gap. You can get it for your advantage if you're going close. There's also a top cone smoke that I do sometimes. Like if you're playing pistols. The strat is smoke top cone, go out A fast. Just aim, go in this corner, aim like shown. Jump throw. These smokes are for 128 tech by the way, service. I don't know about 64 tech because I don't play matchmaking boys. Let's hope into B side now. Um, s some people are actually using arch smokes now, lately. I don't actually use them because I don't like the idea, but I'm just gonna show it to you. Just go in this corner, aim like shown, jump throw. That's for the left side. Then hug this wall a little bit, aim like shown, jump throw. Now these both smokes are actually useful sometimes, but I'm not a big fan of this. Because they can just stuck in the smoke. Another smoke that I do is this one. Go like shown, jump throw, this one. 
is useful for me more than arch mobs. It's gonna smoke window. So a lot of times this oper gets kills. So you're gonna just close safety to be side. Just be aware because once they see the smoke, if I was in their in their position, I just go out and then go in a better position backside. So be careful. It's gonna give them more chance to go into B side. And now the nade part is finished. I'm, I'm gonna show you what I do on the map. Let's start with CT side. Nothing special. What I do is the, like the basic molly for ram. Try to bounce it on a wall. It goes left side deep. It's better than just throw it here. So it mollies like the whole area. And I can combine it with smoke. Like I go right here. Throw this one. It looks like nothing special, but sometimes if you if you're like an A player, you're gonna play close. See if no one is going out. This one gives a tiny little gap that you can see if this guy is you see this here. If this guy's going like in the wall. Because what they actually do if they're executing A, this guy's always trying to go close right there. So I can see him in the gap. So for connector, sometimes when we have echo, I do this one way smoke. Go in the corner. You see this lamp? A little bit above, second, here, and then right click. It's a one-way smoke if someone is going fast connector, and you can just give info if someone is going short. Try not to shoot them because you're not gonna kill them with one bullet. Just info is enough. Then as you see, they can see nothing. And then for B side, uh, try to go anti-flash always. If they're just rushing, they're gonna just keep spamming flashes. Try to reach car. If your teammate on short says it's B rush or steps B or something, you just mull it like this. Stay anti-flash, go in a better position maybe, because they're gonna molly this anyways. If they're good good players, they're gonna molly here. And then just throw like some really decent flashes to, to counter you. Like if you're a B player, I'm not, but I think it's the priority for you is to stay alive. Sometimes it's good to throw this smoke and then stay behind it. Like, they're gonna go top car, it's a, like a risky position, or they're just gonna throw. In my, in my opinion, I just like crouch right here. Sometimes they go like a full retarded mood, they jump through the smoke, but you can hear someone is really close left side. Like, I don't play open B, so let's say if I have like an M4 or AK. Just stay like this, you can just get a kill, maybe you can just get lucky, one tap people right there, going there. I like to play bench a lot. Sometimes it's also good, like if your teammate is calling a B-Rush to molly here, then just go back again, go towards the backside. If someone is dropping, you're gonna hear, you can hear them burning, so you can see how many people just drop down. Or if they're just gonna keep flashing, this this position is flashable, so be careful, try to, like to play in a position that you can hide insta after they flash. Maybe just hold right side or hold left side. Don't panic, go like this full mode and then you're gonna die from one of the sides. So, it, Like in my situation I just hold this side because I always think about like if I'm the enemy what should I do? Then let's say I jump to window. I would check here and then go here. That That's what I do usually. Then check here, check here. So the first encounter for me is gonna be this side. Let's say that there's a no B rush if you're playing B and nothing. You should just save your nades, take a better position and try to hold it. What I actually do is to hold this position, like shown here. It's good because it's uncheckable most of the times. Like if you stay like this and hold like this, it's pre fireable for them. If you stay also like this, he's gonna go out and check you. But if you stay a little bit deeper, then what he's actually do when he reaches there, like let's see their perspective. I'm, I'm pushing B, trying to get contact. Nothing, nothing. Clear there. They actually do when I go out. Like, I'm still not visible by the way. I'm playing right there. What I actually do is to check if he's hiding down there. Down there. And then, it's my chance to kill them if I'm staying like, let's say, on a bullet mark. Right there. I think this position is good. It's also not visible from window. It's flashable, so if you get full blind, Jump like shown. Easy. You're still safe. Now let's say this position worked and you got like 2-3 kills from it. Don't try it again at the same match because it's expectable from them. So what I actually do, if it's not a B-Rush like always, maybe try to go back here, hold this one. This one is also pre so be careful. You need to keep moving. Do like shown. Be the one who peeks them, because peak advantage in CSGO is huge. You should be the one who always peek them. Except if you have an AWP. 
Now let's say your teammates died on short or you are only 3 guys left. Best 3 position for me, like if sometimes I hold window like this because they are gonna just try to break your defenses going through here, go CT, go B flank. That's a good position. If I'm solo B, I think there's no better position than this one. Because if you have a teammate who's holding kitchen for you, you can jungle short. Uh, I mean, uh, jiggle short and watch it. And if someone is gonna execute B, if they're gonna do it, then they're just, they're just gonna bully. Even if they go out on contact, the first step you're gonna hear, you can call your teammate it's B. Go like this, stay like this. You're also safe. You have footsteps advantage. They cannot cross without doing noises. That's the thing. If you If you're just stuck there, nobody can see you. If you're supposed to hold A and only three people are left, one guy should hold window, the other guy just like I showed you, then what I actually do is staying CT. I don't stay close because you have a chance, like there's a lot of chances that these guys are on A side, yeah? Also out jungle, like your teammate is not holding jungle, so they might be in jungle, going close, they know that only one guy is on A, holding CT, they clear there, sometimes a teammate flash for them, like a pop flash from ramp or something, then you're insta dead. So you should always be safe. Hold like shown. Maybe go a little bit back. Like sometimes you can hold like this. If your teammate is not holding this one, you can just hold like this. Each like two seconds, switch positions. That's also a good position to stay alive. Now let's talk about A positions and A peaks and stuff. Let's say I'm playing rifle. Volley like shown. Smoke like shown, like I always do. Jump on a ladder. To check if there's footsteps on ramp, footsteps on palace. A lot of people just step like they step a lot, even in my rank, so it's a really good advantage. As I said, let's try that again. I'll try, I'm gonna try to be in game mode now. Molly, smoke, shift, of course, on ladder. Then, first thing you're gonna do is check here if he's going fast after the molly because he's not gonna reach your apps for sure. Then, like, stay 4 seconds, 5 seconds, no one there. Hold this one. If you have a teammate is holding ramp from ticket, oping or something, then yeah. Hold it a little bit. Before the smoke fades, I just go down insta. Because staying at this position is easily prefiable. I always kill the player who's here. Like, if I'm T player, check like this. He's dead. This position is so bad, in my opinion. This one is much better, because no one checks here. But it's... It's visible. If they go now ramp. Let's say they're going out ramp like this. They see your gun. You're insta dead. So what I do is I go insta. Down here before the smoke ends. Then try to hold like this maybe. Then if your teammates are done on mid. No one is mid or let's say they cleared mid a little bit. Then they went back to not. You should always have a connector supporter or jungle supporter to watch your apps. If no one is there, if they're really focusing on mid, then you can just risk it a little bit, couple of seconds. He's gonna, he's not gonna peek you. Let's say it's like maybe two, five percent chances of peeking you. Always focus on ramp. Go back. Go to default. Go. Hold palace a little bit. Then depends on the round. Like if your teammate doesn't have connected, then you should always be aware of connected push. Like if you have a good aim, if you have good movement, you can. Also ho hold three positions like this, but it's not good. So it's a really hard position to hold. Like go con, hold top con, hold there. You don't need to peak ramp actually. You need to peak ramp each like five, ten seconds maybe. Don't panic at like peaking everything, everything. And the first thing, if you want to check ramp, like if you decide to check ramp, no one connector, check here, check there, because no one's gonna just go out a. And try to cross shifting there because they're always aware of this position. So, if I'm a T player, uh, yeah, if I'm a T player, then I'd go shifting. See, no one here, no one here. What I actually do is jump sometimes to check if someone is hiding default. They're not gonna see you, by the way, if you're hiding good. Or I just try to go check sandwich, check this one. That's that's when you peek them if they're out. Eh? Sometimes if I'm still stuck here and I feel like I'm in danger, like my teammates are dying and I'm not helping, just risk it, go like this, have some solid aim, try to kill them if they go out, then jump towards city. And now you're in, you're safe, like no one can kill you easily. You can just jump spot, get, get info on A, go back, 
And you can, if you're 3 man alive, you can just stay in this position that I told you before. It's really good for defense. Now let's say I'm playing AWP. What I do if I'm playing AWP on A, I just go on this ticket. Nothing special, there's no line up or something. Just go up here, it's a better angle for you. And it's a harder angle to clear for them. If they have a lamp flash, if you get blind, shoot, go down insta. Then you're still alive. You can also jump, they're not gonna hit you for sure. Even if they hit you, they're not gonna hit you at all because they're busy looking at something else, let's say. Or you need to risk it sometimes, because if you get stuck there, one molly, ballast player is gonna peek you. And you're dead. If they're doing smokes, you can just stay alive. If there's a CT smoke, sometimes they fail. You can get the gap. But jump on this one is really expectable. Like, they always expect this, so I don't do it more often. Sometimes when you get a good spawn like this one, and you have an AWP, what I actually do is try to cross the connector. I don't help on mid in these situations, no flashes, nothing. Start to, to, to scope from there, because sometimes they also have in the same position. I try to clear it really, really slowly, because this angle is highly risky for you. Because sometimes they boost to kill stealth players, sometimes even if they don't boost, they can just kill you crossing. So this angle is really good for T's, but they're gonna just hold like this. And you're gonna just kill them if you peek, that's a peek surprise. Let's say no one is there. You go and connect them now. Do this smoke sometimes. You can peek. Pre-fire this angle. If someone is there, he's dead. And now you should, like you should count, uh, count on the footsteps advantage now. You know how many players are mid, they're not gonna just all, always shifting from mid because they're in danger from window and short and cone, so... Yeah, they're gonna do steps. Then before the smoke fades, if no one is pushing, you can also get a peek on maps. Sometimes this guy in apps thinks that he's like a really... he's gonna do like a surprise advantage. No one is there, he's gonna peek ticket guy, then you're just gonna kill them from stairs. Is the, but don't stuck there, don't just stay there for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, because some players are actually retarded, they go in the smoke, in connector, if your teammate is smoked on window, you need the information. Oh, I hope it lands. Yeah. <laughs> if your teammate is smoked there, if your teammate cannot see, they should call for you, if someone can be connector. Then you're gonna die from behind. So you always be careful, always be aware of every position. Peek like shown. No one is there, then you can just try to... Like maybe shoulder peak ramp to give info for your A player if someone is there. If your A player is playing close, then no need to, wor to worry about ramp because most effective close angles is this one. I'm gonna talk about la about that later when I play like a pistol echo or uh, like a rifle on A side. And then if you're stuck here, like don't stay here for too long. Try always to cross to this side because this side is also good to clear palace, and you're not stuck. You're not wall bangable, and you can stay safe for a longer time. Maybe you can just change your position. Like if your A player is, ha is having a rifle for sure, not gonna play double op on A. Then you can just rotate back to CT. Uh, hold ramp for him maybe. He holds palace because it's better idea. Or like if he's holding ramp, you're gonna risk it a little bit. Pick this one, pick this one from ticket. This is also a good angle. I'm not a big fan of peeking connector like this because good teams like they do double peek on you from short and down but impacts sometimes they just risk it but it's better to hold this one because it's harder to flick let's say you flicked right but you hit the wall bank here hold like this if he's down if he peeks down first like from here you can just flick down and kill this guy that's what i do now let's say you're eco you're trying to go out like insta fast don't cross from here always go from here because it's if they do like a, root, a good flash, like lamp flash, and one guy has a really insane spawn, you're also dead. Insta. So what you need to do is to shift once you, like, there's no lineup, but once you reach here, shift, stay anti-flash, then go a little bit like this. Try to hold this one. This angle is really effective with Deagle. Now let's talk about T-side. Things are gonna get more complicated here. Let's say this is like a default round where your teammates are taking mid and you, you have chosen to go A to hold A push or something. Maybe like A split, let's say. Just default position. Your fifth player is either Palace going to help you or is just going B apps to check if they have their push, but you don't need them actually. Let's say you reach here and then they're gonna obviously do this molly. 
So what I do is I hear as much as Swiss steps that I can hear from them. If he stepped even once before the molly ends, I fall I flash like this, then peek. Most of the times I get the kill. If my aim is good, if I'm feeling it, then I can kill them easily. In their perspective it's gonna be like this, a molly. Then it's gonna come closer. Maybe just flash like this. Clear ramp, clear there. Then good players, if they see no one is fast tramp, they go back. So you should expect, if you heard them stepping once, you should expect him to play close. You have a couple of angles to clear it. This angle, that I'm uh, standing right now, some players play on this angle. It's really effective, sometimes this guy gets two kills, like he gets really lucky. So what you should do, if you see no one them, if you decide to cross and stay like this, if you're playing against a good team, they will do a setup flash on you. Some guy in CT. Might just flash like shown. Like you don't need to line up or anything because you're not gonna hear the release of the flash because he's too far. Then you're gonna get full blind. This guy just gonna swing, kill you. Now after that, once you, like you see, there is no ramp control. There is no ramp aggression from CTs. Let's say. Then, if someone is stepping stairs, then you might get be able to kill them because they might be cram sometimes. If not, then clear this angle. Go a little bit firebox, then wait, like, don't go outside without a flash, because most of the times there's an oper holding this angle, or the angle that I've showed you before on ticket. So what your teammate need, needs to do is just to go right there, do this flash for you. This is a really effective flash, it's gonna blind everyone on site. If he's holding like this angle from default, he's blind, if he's holding this angle, he's blind, even CT angle is gonna get like half a second blind. If he gets blind, then you should peek, because you should peek like maybe like half a second after, because he might just, if he gets blind, he might just shoot, and he might get like a lu lucky kill on you, so. Let's say the flash popped right now, and then I go out. Most of the times I kill them, if I'm feeling it, then I can kill them. Once I go out, there's a tons of angle to clear. If you're just executing A, your first guy, try to use your nades because you must, most likely you're gonna die. Throw this molly to get this guy all, uh, off position if he's holding, hiding. If some guy is there, if the, if it's A execute, you should always have an A palace player holding. If he's not in palace, then once you molly this one, your, your palace player can just also clear this angle. Then you're ready to go. Sometimes they molly this one, then I molly this one. Or like the opposite, it doesn't matter. That's how I play it on A. Now let's say I'm playing Palace. I always go here, jump and then shift. No more footsteps for them, they're not gonna hear anything. Then what I actually do, I hold this angle for like 3 seconds. Then go hold like this, only like this. If you cross more, there's a chance that they have like a really good A spawn. And he will buy an op. I will show you how, how he gets there, like, really good spawn can co cause them, like, can cause you, like, to die. And they, then he holds like this. He has a better chance to kill you because if you peek like this, you're dead. So what I actually do, I just expect them to push palace, like this. I don't get any more aggression. Stay like this for like 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, then start a little bit to go to this side, this side, this angle. Uh, sometimes it works, but it's pre-fireable. I like to play like here in off angle because if I'm the CT aggressive player trying to clear palace, check there, check there, no one is there, then check this one, then check this one. Once I go from here to here, I will be here, down, like let's say here. I have a better chance to kill them then. Now let's talk about mid setup. Let's say they will take mid. You can smoke this one, if they ask for it, or smoke the window one that I showed you. Some player are gonna smoke short for sure. Then mid is gonna be like this once you go out. You only need like a good flash. Get the peak, always be careful of this angle. Sometimes they go aggressive, they go out connector. But now you have half of mid. But the most important stuff when you take in mid, not to just hold like this to wait for them to peek you. Your opener, maybe, maybe if he's holding like this, it's it's helpful because he might peek after the smoke. Or if he's holding like this, like let's say I have an op, 
In my in my case, I would hold like this, or maybe like double scope. If he's speaking from down, I can just click. If he's speaking from up, I can just flick. Once you go out, let's say the smokes are there. Always be careful about like underpass player. Sometimes they push underpass. There's two kind of underpass pushes. I don't do them. That's why I don't. I didn't show you them on CT side. But what they actually do, they they throw like a pop flash. I don't know if it's accurate this one, but yeah. Then peek to catch you off guard if you're going underpass fast from T side. And then if no one is there, then they just stay and hold this angle because a lot of people just go here or do they go close connector then it's a free kill for them I don't like this angle because it's really risky for a CT guy to, to play there sometimes it, it pays off but it most likely I don't like this angle so that's why I didn't do it and let's say you're out mid and you, you need to re-smoke window again there's a good smoke to do aim like shown you see this one and this one aim like in the middle Go a little bit to the left. You can left click this one. And then you can see there's no gap in here and here. Sometimes if you're also stuck on mid and you decided to go B split, that's a good top cone smoke. Just bounce it on this wall from this side. It smokes top cone. If, you, if your teammate is underpass, you can do it as well from this side. It, it's also good and effective because other teammates, like if window is also smoked, they can cross and fight for short player. Always expect someone to go out connector as well and try to find for this, fight for this. So, but it's better because all the angles are smoked. Ticket, uh, firebox, right side, left side of firebox. So you only need to care about this angle or if he goes on top of this. But most likely he's gonna go like this side because it's easier for him to go out to smoke and fight. You can do a B split using this one. Now if I decide to go B, like uh, to hold underpass, maybe to play in B apps as a T side player. What I actually do is, is I stay a little bit like this. If there's no pop flash there, then I peek. I don't peek instantly because he's gonna do the pop flash and then I'm dead insta. So what I actually do is to wait a little bit, no pop flash, clear, no one here, no one here. Sometimes they have in safe spawn, they get inside here, it happens. So be careful. Then try to shift, looking at B, clearing this angle, like this, like this. Then check if no one's underpass. It's a good info for your teammates because sometimes they just hold like this, and it's a really hard angle for T's. If you if you're just shifting like this, if you're just expecting to peek right there, you're dead from this guy. Let's say you're gonna do B contact. Try to cross on this side. If you stay a little bit, you can hear them if he's like jump spotting. There's also good jump spot for CT side that they do it like shown to see if someone is B, but I don't actually do it because it's a really bad information. All of them knows where the B player is, so they can just molly car if they do it. Once you go there, a lot of times you get caught off guard because this player is gonna go out and just spam like this, you might die. So I don't do this jump spot. I just play it really really passively as I showed you. Yeah, let's say he's jump spotting. Then so this one, then your teammates are ready to flash. There's also one good flash throw like this. It's gonna blind this angle. And also this angle. That's they they always play like a lot on these angles as well. When it comes to first two players, let's say you should always clear, clear a little bit, then jump to take space. Once you die, you will call where the enemy is. Let's say he's not car, but you're gonna molly car anyways because sometimes they just hide like this. It's also an effective angle for your CTs. You just molly car if you hear them bur burning, they might just go right there. You know, he's mid side because you see you have seen them already crossing. So you can call where the enemy is. Like, B contact is not actually really effective on full buy rounds because, like, you need. To, to have a little bit of mid control there. Let's say people called like B contact. One guy at least should smoke window, like shown. And one more guy should smoke top mid. So if you wanna fake something, then these two smokes are good because they hear that two smokes have been landed. Con player might peek, oh, top mid is smoked, short player as well. Maybe one guy can fake here, drop this molly, let's say. 
um, until your teammates get a better time to clear stuff here, just shifting. But most likely they will know instantly. So this guy is gonna go back here and then on the full buy round it's not effective because you're gonna get shut down. You need to have a really good setup and flashes and mollies. Yeah, a really good team play so no one is doing it lately. That's why B split is more effective that I showed you. Maybe you can just smoke top corn from, from this area here like as I showed you. That's a really good strat and then they can do the smokes on mid, go out, one guy in B, B apps with the bomb, let's say, or you can take the bomb mid with you if you don't want to risk it, so. Then this guy can lurk on A. They know that this smoke came from here, so you might just do steps, let them stay on A, like keep them, so they don't rotate. Your teammates will cross from mid, most likely, Smoke uh, window is smoked, uh, Top cone is smoked. They should care only about these both angles that I showed you and then short. Go out, clear one guy clear ladder room. Two guys get insta to here. But yeah, what is the worst situation is when a guy hears a B split, then he gets the kill on the B, B apps guy. B apps guy should never show until these guys are on site. Or at least just hold an angle. You can hold this guy not to push in apps because if they have apps control, it's a bad idea then. So guys, that's all I can think of for Mirage Guide. I'm trying to think about other stuff that I do. Maybe I, f I forgot something. This video have took too long. I didn't expect that. But yeah, that's all I do on Mirage at the moment. If you liked it, please like, share. Uh, thanks for all the support that you're giving me, guys, on my Facebook page. Whatever. I, I will upload this on Facebook page, YouTube uh, channel as well. So you can check them out there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this. And if you have reached that long, I really appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you for the support.